guys and welcome back to the show so if you're on twitter and follow some of the tech gurus then i'm sure you would have seen gpt3 appear a lot on your twitter feed probably the reason why you're here because you would like to find more about it so initially i didn't know what gpt3 was um but i did a bit of research and found out that it is an open ai new language generator and it's the largest language model ever created and it can create amazing human-like tests on demand. Some of the questions that people are asking or some of the questions that I've seen developers ask is that will this be taking their jobs or are they in trouble because GPT-3 is in town? The answer is hell yeah because the things that I've seen this thing do is it blows my mind and you need to see it for yourself all right it is just scary what this thing can do i came across this video online which was posted by sharif on twitter and he demonstrated the power of gpt3 and what it can do and i was blown out you just pass it a text and it generates proper html proper react component for you using text which is crazy well from the research that i've done i don't think people knew that it could generate code I thought people knew that it could just generate tests but this thing can actually generate code and build stuff for you so if you're a developer just be worried that you know in the next 10 to 20 years your job will be taken by gpt3 i don't know by that time there might be gpt5 or gpt10 but this is scary like you don't really need react developers anymore you just need gpt3 to generate whatever you want for you which is crazy like i mentioned earlier on there are a lot of people talking about gpt3 and one of them is chris sucker if you know who chris sucker is you know he is one of the tech vc giants and one thing that actually stood out for me was a tweet that was posted by Paul Graham and this is what he said hackers are fascinated by GPT-3 to everyone else it seems a toy people are doing some crazy stuff with AI I remember Elon Musk saying that they should regulate AI because the stuff that you'll be able to build with AI will be too scary and this proves it you get what I mean I've got a lot of people talking about it some art man is saying that the hype is way too much so if you're scared just don't worry right now because the hype is way too much and he thinks that ai is going to change the world but the hype on gpt3 is just way too much it's just way too much but it's scary like if you have like an application that can generate jx sets for you and build react component for you on the fly then that is crazy imagine as a us designer right you wanted to build something you wanted to design something and you could just go into figma or adobe sd and then just type in what you want and then see that thing be generated all of a sudden by an application without you drawing anything this is the future man like this is scarier than angular jx like look it takes a bit of time and boom you have this it has generated everything for you without you having to do anything and that is really scary like the only way you cannot be scared is if you are the one making these type of programs like if you're a web developer then you are really in trouble you see engineers giving vcs demo of <laughs> of gpt3 that's amazing like basically <laughs> That is basically it. That is basically it. Engineers giving VCs demos of GPT-3. You know what I mean? They are shocked. They don't know what the hell is happening. That is basically it. People are making fun of it. Like GPT-3 behind the scenes. Like you type in something and there are about 5,000 developers making that thing at once, you know, for you. So some just said that he got access to GPT-3 and my mind is blown. Here are my thoughts on how everything is going to change. He doesn't think that a lot is going to change. It's 1 over 257, 257. So he doesn't think that a lot is going to change. All front-end developers think that, you know, their jobs will be taken by TBT3. So if you're a front-end developer, just be scared. All right? Just be scared because I think, I, think, I think the future is will be you need to be the one creating all these machine learning models. Like, you need to be the one making all these machine learning programs i built a to-do list up by describing it to gpt3 it generates a react code and a fully functioning app within seconds it, it takes seconds it takes few seconds for this to happen 
you don't need to spend lots of time building these components it's just like put in test and then it will generate the it will generate the react application for you oh my days <laughs> like they've got all these demos of people showing what gpt3 can do and i am really impressed i am honestly impressed by what it can do and i think that if you are a developer you should be scared you know you should be shitting on yourself right now because your job can be taken by gpt3 especially if you are an angular developer you should be scared <laughs> no there are lots of comments on gpt3 and i'm impressed by the demos that people have i've made so far and i think that um, there is something to watch out so the ceo of shopify posted this earlier on today uh, about gpt3 and you know he said that he was really impressed he was really impressed with what gpt3 can do if these guys are telling you that they're impressed then it means there is something about gpt3 that you don't know all i like to say is just you know just watch out you know if you're dev, just watch out for GPT-3. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.